Welcome to 420 Today, your marijuana news in exactly 420 words. The founder of the Winecoop Brewing Company has made a lot of money from booze, so it's not surprising he's not a fan of legalized marijuana in Colorado. What may be surprising though, is that he is also the governor of the Centennial State. During a debate with his Republican rival Bob Beauprez, Governor John Hickenlooper said that voters in Colorado were reckless for legalizing marijuana, which is a bizarre position for Hickenlooper to take considering those same voters put him in office. If the governor doesn't respect their opinion and judgment on marijuana, how can he respect their choice of leader? Alan St. Pierre, executive director of Normal, is equally confused. As a former brewer and seller of a drug far more dangerous than marijuana, beer slinger Hickenlooper is a hypocrite, he says. Damn straight. As fans of the NFL know only too well, spousal abuse is a sickening reality in the United States that is often connected to alcohol abuse. However, recent studies found that couples that smoke weed together are less likely to be involved in cases of domestic violence. In Massachusetts, a mother of two told the court that the father of her children, 27-year-old Angel Sanchez, beat the living crap out of her in front of their five-year-old son on Sunday because he had run out of weed. She told the judge that her husband has a tendency to get more aggressive when he is not high. When he uses it, he's fine, she said. Judge Patricia T. Poehler, however, was not about to recommend medical marijuana for Sanchez's aggressive behavior. Instead, she held him on $10,000 bail and ordered a one-year restraining order. Someone passed that man a J. Finally, the New York Times has endorsed the proposed pot policies of Alaska, Oregon, and Washington DC appearing on ballots this November. The sky over Colorado has not fallen, and prohibition has proved to be a complete failure, the editorial board writes. They claim that taxing and regulating weed is both safer for the consumer and an increased source of revenue for the states, and argue that the federal government should repeal their ban on marijuana and allow all states to set their own policies. What do you think? Is the governor of Colorado a hypocritical douche? Can weed help prevent domestic violence? Comment below and let us know. Thanks for watching 420 today, and don't forget to subscribe.